Now, your local Storm Tracker 2 forecast. Welcome back, guys. 514 right now and taking a look out at downtown Spokane on what will be a busy weekend ahead. We've got Food Truck Friday beginning today, this afternoon. We've also got First Friday and then, of course, on Sunday, Bloomsday. If you're uh, looking for something in the middle of that Saturday, you could always head out to Silverwood Theme Park. They are opening their gates as of tomorrow. We got to wait a little bit of time though for uh, Boulder Beach, of course, the water park side of things that happens in June. Take a look outside again, that beautiful start to the day. We've got a warm up that continues now, not only from today into the afternoon, but through your weekend as well. So for your Friday today, expect afternoon highs in the mid 60s, 70s over the weekend for your Saturday and your Sunday. The thing is, as we get towards your Sunday night, we do have a cold front that'll move through. That cold front is going to bring a couple showers. It's also going to bring the wind speeds up for your Sunday. That's why I don't don't say necessarily breezy blooms day, but breezy blooms night. OK, so by the time if you're still outside on Sunday, you can expect the possibility of maybe a couple drizzles carrying on over and uh, some breezy winds as well. Mostly sunny though into next week. We are still sticking with a pretty dry trend of uh, skies around us. Your blooms day forecast looks like this. If you are running that race by the start of it, expect 54 degrees outside, partly cloudy skies warming up to about 68 by noon, 72 for your daytime high. Keep in mind, this doesn't make us the hottest or the coldest blooms day necessarily. We are going to be on the warmer side of things. Last year we saw an afternoon high of 78 degrees, a little bit cooler than that, but the record high was uh, 81 in 1977 and 1980. So here's what we have as far as those future wind gusts go. We are going to stay breezy really throughout your weekend, but things don't really seem to amp up until we get to your Sunday night. Here's tonight at 7 p.m. You see over North Idaho into western Montana. Those wind speeds mainly in the about 20 mile per hour range, uh, dying down a bit as you move farther toward the west side of the state and around central Washington. We see those winds die down as usual overnight and then pick right back up into your Saturday afternoon and evening. Here's 9 p.m. Same situation, North Idaho in western Montana seeing the brunt of the wind uh, and then going into Sunday we see things die down. This is where things end on our being on our ability to track these future wind gusts 48 hours in advance. But by the time we get to your Sunday evening, that's when we really see these wind speeds pick up quite a bit. Forecast temperatures though by this afternoon. Here's 6 p.m. We've got mostly 60s around uh, North Idaho and eastern Washington, 70s already towards central Washington. So if you're in Moses Lake, you can expect 71 degrees by the time you get to just about 6 p.m. 75 down in Richland, 63 in Spokane, 61 in Coeur d'Alene. There is the possibility that uh, come Saturday and Sunday, some of these spots, Moses Lake all the way down through Richland, could see uh, close to 80 degree temperatures since uh, Spokane will be seen 70s. Hour by hour, you see how those temperatures increase. We'll be at 44 by the time, 47 by the time we get to 8 p.m., 55 by 10 a.m. Partly cloudy skies carrying on through and winds in the single digits. Here's what we got on Future Tracker for us. We stay calm, we stay dry. Really, the only disturbance to note all the way through your Friday, Saturday, and then your Sunday is going to be that cold front that comes through. So we see those showers start to develop over western Montana and north Idaho. This is 8.30 p.m. on your Saturday. Moving into early Sunday morning still doesn't seem to be an issue as Spokane, if you're running that Bloomsday, stays dry. Seven day forecast looks like this warming trend kind of comes to an end as of tomorrow. We're going to stick with those 70s all the way through the next seven days. Once we get there, uh, kind of bouncing up and down between the upper 60s and low 70s. Uh, Saturday, Sunday, both going to be very similar days aside from that cold front that comes through Sunday night uh, and really can't ask for better conditions to carry on then into the beginning of next week. Jen and Brittany.